Chapter 32 Reuben and Gad Settle in Gilead Now the children of Reuben and the children of Gad had a very great multitude of cattle. And when they saw the land of Jazer and the land of Gilead, that, behold, the place was a place for cattle, the children of Gad and the children of Reuben came and spake unto Moses and to Eleazar the priest, and unto the princes of the congregation, saying, Ataroth and Dibon and Jazer and Nimrod and Heshbon and Elile and Shebam and Nebo and Beon, even the country which the Lord smote before the congregation of Israel is a land for cattle, and thy servants have cattle. Wherefore, said they, if we have found grace in thy sight, let this land be given unto thy servants for a possession, and bring us not over Jordan. And Moses said unto the children of Gad, and to the children of Reuben, Shall your brethren go to war, and shall ye sit here? And wherefore discourage ye the heart of the children of Israel from going over into the land which the Lord hath given them? Thus did your fathers when I sent them from Kadesh Barnea to see the land. For when they went up unto the valley of Eshgal, and saw the land, they discouraged the heart of the children of Israel, that they should not go into the land which the Lord had given them. And the Lord's anger was kindled the same time, and he sware, saying, Surely none of the men that came up out of Egypt from twenty years old and upward, shall see the land which I swear unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob, because they have not wholly followed me, save Caleb the son of Japhana, the Kenizzite, and Joshua the son of Nun. For they have wholly followed the Lord, and the Lord's anger was kindled against Israel, and he made them wander in the wilderness forty years, until all the generation that had done evil in the sight of the Lord was consumed. And behold, ye are risen up in your father's stead, an increase of sinful men, to augment yet the fierce anger of the Lord toward Israel. For if ye turn away from after him, he will yet again leave them in the wilderness, and ye shall destroy all this people. And they came near unto him, and said, We will build sheepfolds here for our cattle, and our cities for our little ones. But we ourselves will go ready armed before the children of Israel until we have brought them unto their place. And our little ones shall dwell in the fenced cities because of the inhabitants of the land. We will not return unto our houses until the children of Israel have inherited every man his inheritance for we will not inherit with them on yonder side Jordan or forward, because our inheritance is fallen to us on this side Jordan eastward. And Moses said unto them, If ye will do this thing, if ye will go armed before the Lord to war, and will go all of you armed over Jordan before the Lord, until he hath driven out his enemies from before him, and the land be subdued before the Lord. Then afterward ye shall return, and be guiltless before the Lord, and before Israel. And this land shall be your possession before the Lord. 
But if ye will not do so, behold, ye have sinned against the Lord. And be sure, your sin will find you out. Build you cities for your little ones, and folds for your sheep. And do that which hath proceeded out of your mouth. And the children of Gad and the children of Reuben spake unto Moses, saying, Thy servants will do as my Lord commandeth. Our little ones, our wives, our flocks, and all our cattle shall be there in the cities of Gilead. But thy servants will pass over every man armed for war before the Lord to battle as my Lord saith so concerning them Moses commanded Eleazar the priest and Joshua the son of Nun and the chief fathers of the tribes of the children of Israel and Moses said unto them if the children of Gad and the children of Reuben will pass with you over Jordan, every man armed to battle before the Lord, and the land shall be subdued before you. Then ye shall give them the land of Gilead for a possession. But if they will not pass over with you armed, they shall have possessions among you in the land of Canaan. And the children of Gad and the children of Reuben answered, saying, As the Lord hath said unto thy servants, so will we do. We will pass over armed before the Lord into the land of Canaan, that the possession of our inheritance on this side of Jordan may be ours. And Moses gave unto them, even to the children of Gad, and to the children of Reuben, and unto half the tribe of Manasseh, the son of Joseph, the kingdom of Sihon, king of the Amorites, and the kingdom of Og, king of Bashan, the land, with the cities thereof in the coast, even the cities of the country round about. And the children of Gad built Dibon, and Ataroth, and Aroer, and Ataroth, Shophan, and Jazer, and Jogbeha, and Beth Nimrah, and Beth Haran, fence cities, and folds for sheep. And the children of Reuben built Heshbon, and Eliali, and Kiriathiam, and Nebo, and Balmion, their names being changed and Shibma, and gave other names unto the cities which they builded. And the children of Machir, the son of Manasseh, went to Gilead, and took it, and dispossessed the Amorite which was in it. And Moses gave Gilead unto Machir, the son of Manasseh, and he dwelt therein. And Jair the son of Manasseh went and took the small towns thereof and called them Havoth Jair. And Noba went and took Kenneth and the villages thereof and called it Noba after his own name. Chapter 33 Recounting Israel's Journey these are the journeys of the children of Israel, which went forth out of the land of Egypt, with their armies under the hand of Moses and Aaron. And Moses wrote their goings out according to their journeys by the commandment of the Lord. And these are their journeys according to their goings out. And they departed from Ramesses in the first month, on the fifteenth day of the first month, on the morrow after the Passover, the children of Israel went out with the high hand in the sight of all the Egyptians. For the Egyptians buried all their firstborn 
which the Lord had smitten among them. Upon their gods also the Lord executed judgments. And the children of Israel removed from Ramses, and pitched in Sukkoth. And they departed from Sukkoth, and pitched in Etham, which is in the edge of the wilderness. And they removed from Etham, and turned again unto Pihahirath, which is before Balzephon, and they pitched before Migdal. And they departed from before Pihahirath, and passed through the midst of the sea into the wilderness, and went three days' journey in the wilderness of Etham, and pitched in Mara. And they removed from Mara, and came unto Elam. And in Elam were twelve fountains of water, and threescore and ten palm trees. And they pitched there. And they removed from Elam, and encamped by the Red Sea. And they removed from the Red Sea, and encamped in the wilderness of Sin. And they took their journey out of the wilderness of Sin, and encamped in Dafka. And they departed from Dafka, and encamped in Alush. And they removed from Alush, and encamped at Rephidim, where was no water for the people to drink. And they departed from Rephidim, and pitched in the wilderness of Sinai. And they removed from the desert of Sinai, and pitched at Kilbreth Hatava. And they departed from Kilbreth Hatava, and encamped at Hazaroth. And they departed from Hazaroth, and pitched in Rithma. And they departed from Rithma, and pitched at Rimon Perez. And they departed from Rimon Perez, and pitched in Libna. And they removed from Libna, and pitched at Risa. And they journeyed from Risa, and pitched in Kehalatha. And they went from Kehalatha, and pitched in Mount Shafer. And they removed from Mount Shafer, and encamped in Harada. And they removed from Harada, and pitched in Mekeleth. And they removed from Mekeleth, and encamped at Tehath. And they departed from Tehath, and pitched at Tara. And they removed from Tara, and pitched in Mithka. And they went from Mithka, and pitched in Hashmona. And they departed from Hashmona, and encamped at Maserath. And they departed from Maserath, and pitched in Benejakan. And they removed from Benejakan, and encamped at Horagidad. And they went from Horhagidad, and pitched in Yodbetha. And they removed from Yodbetha, and encamped at Ebrana. And they departed from Ebrana, and encamped at Ezion Geber. And they removed from Ezion Geber, and pitched in the wilderness of Zin, which is Kadesh. And they removed from Kadesh, and pitched in Mount Hor, in the edge of the land of Edom. And Aaron the priest went up into Mount Hor, at the commandment of the Lord, and died there. In the fortieth year, after the children of Israel were come out of the land of Egypt, in the first day of the fifth month. And Aaron was a hundred and twenty and three years old when he died in Mount Hor. And King Arad the Canaanite, which dwelt in the south in the land of Canaan, heard of the coming of the children of Israel. 
and they departed from Mount Hor, and pitched in Zalmona. And they departed from Zalmona, and pitched in Punan. And they departed from Punan, and pitched in Oboth. And they departed from Oboth, and pitched in Ajay-Abarim, in the border of Moab. And they departed from Eom, and pitched in Debon God. And they removed from Debon God, and encamped in Almond de Blathium. And they removed from Almond de Blathium, and pitched in the mountains of Abarim, before Nebo. And they departed from the mountains of Abarim, and pitched in the plains of Moab by Jordan near Jericho. And they pitched by Jordan from beth Yasamoth, even unto abel Shittim in the plains of Moab. Drive out the inhabitants. And the Lord spake unto Moses in the plains of Moab by Jordan near Jericho, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, When ye are passed over Jordan into the land of Canaan, then ye shall drive out all the inhabitants of the land from before you, and destroy all their pictures, and destroy all their molten images, and quite pluck down all their high places and ye shall dispossess the inhabitants of the land, and dwell therein. For I have given you the land to possess it. And ye shall divide the land by lot for an inheritance among your families. And to the more ye shall give the more inheritance, and to the fewer ye shall give the less inheritance. Every man's inheritance shall be in the place where his lot falleth. According to the tribes of your fathers, ye shall inherit. But if ye will not drive out the inhabitants of the land from before you, then it shall come to pass that those which ye let remain of them shall be pricks in your eyes and thorns in your sides and shall vex you in the land wherein ye dwell. Moreover, it shall come to pass that I shall do unto you as I thought to do unto them. Chapter 34 Boundaries of the Land And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Command the children of Israel, and say unto them, when ye come into the land of Canaan, this is the land that shall fall unto you for an inheritance, even the land of Canaan, with the coast thereof. Then your south quarter shall be from the wilderness of Zin, along by the coast of Edom, and your south border shall be the outmost coast of the salt sea eastward. And your border shall turn from the south to the ascent of Akrabim, and pass on to Zin. And the going forth thereof shall be from the south to Kadesh Barnea, and shall go on to Hazaradar, and pass on to Asmon. And the border shall fetch a compass from Asmon unto the river of Egypt and the goings out of it shall be at the sea. And as for the western border, ye shall even have the great sea for a border. This shall be your west border, and this shall be your north border. From the great sea ye shall point out for your Mount Hor. From Mount Hor ye shall point out your border unto the entrance of Hamath, and the goings forth of the border 
shall be to Zadad, and the border shall go on to Zephron, and the goings out of it shall be at Hazarinon. This shall be your north border, and ye shall point out your east border from Hazarinon to Shephem, and the coast shall go down from Shephem to Riblah on the east side of Ain, and the border shall descend and shall reach unto the side of the sea of Kinnereth eastward and the border shall go down to Jordan, and the goings out of it shall be at the salt sea. This shall be your land, with the coast thereof round about. And Moses commanded the children of Israel, saying, This is the land which ye shall inherit by lot, which the Lord commanded to give unto the nine tribes and to the half-tribe. For the tribe of the children of Reuben, according to the house of their fathers, and the tribe of the children of Gad, according to the house of their fathers, have received their inheritance. And half the tribe of Manasseh have received their inheritance. The two tribes and the half-tribe have received their inheritance on this side of Jordan, near Jericho, eastward, toward the sun rising. List of Tribal Chiefs And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, These are the names of the men which shall divide the land unto you, Eleazar the priest, and Joshua the son of Nun, and ye shall take one prince of every tribe, and divide the land by inheritance. And the names of the men are these, of the tribe of Judah, Caleb the son of Jephunneh, and the tribe of the children of Simeon, Shemuel the son of Amihud, of the tribe of Benjamin, Elidad the son of Kislon, and the prince of the tribe of the children of Dan, Buki, the son of Yogli, the prince of the children of Joseph, for the tribe of the children of Manasseh, Haniel, the son of Ephod, the prince of the tribe of the children of Ephraim, Kemuel, the son of Shiftan, and the prince of the tribe of the children of Zebulun, Elizaphan, the son of Parnach, and the prince of the tribe of the children of Issachar, Paltiel, the son of Azan, and the prince of the tribe of the children of Asher, Ahihud, the son of Shalomi, and the prince of the tribe of the children of Naphtali, Pedahel, the son of Amihud. And these are they whom the Lord commanded to divide the inheritance unto the children of Israel in the land of Canaan. Chapter 35 Cities for the Levites And the Lord spake unto Moses in the plains of Moab by Jordan near Jericho saying, Command the children of Israel that they give unto the Levites of the inheritance of their possession cities to dwell in, and ye shall give also unto the Levites suburbs for the cities round about them. And the cities shall they have to dwell in, and the suburbs of them shall be for their cattle and for their goods and for all their beasts. And the suburbs of the cities which ye shall give unto the Levites shall reach from the wall of the city and outward a thousand cubits round about. And ye shall measure from without the city 
on the east side 2,000 cubits and on the south side 2,000 cubits and on the west side 2,000 cubits and on the north side 2,000 cubits and the city shall be in the midst this shall be to them the suburbs of the cities and among the cities which ye shall give unto the Levites there shall be six cities for refuge which ye shall appoint for the manslayer that he may flee thither and to them ye shall add forty and two cities so all the cities which ye shall give to the Levites shall be forty and eight cities them shall ye give with their suburbs and the cities which ye shall give shall be of the possession of the children of Israel from them that have many ye shall give many but from them that have few ye shall give few every one shall give of his cities unto the Levites according to his inheritance which he inheriteth cities of refuge and the Lord spake unto Moses saying speak unto the children of Israel and say unto them when ye be come over Jordan into the land of Canaan then ye shall appoint you cities to be cities of refuge for you that the slayer may flee thither which killeth any person at unawares and they shall be unto you cities for refuge from the avenger that the manslayer die not until he stand before the congregation in judgment and of these cities which ye shall give six cities shall ye have for a refuge ye shall give three cities on this side Jordan and three cities shall ye give in the land of Canaan which shall be cities of refuge these six cities shall be a refuge both for the children of Israel and for the stranger and for the sojourner among them that every one that killeth any person unawares may flee thither and if he smite him with an instrument of iron so that he die he is a murderer the murderer shall surely be put to death and if he smite him with throwing a stone wherewith he may die and he die he is a murderer the murderer shall surely be put to death or if he smite him with the hand weapon of wood wherewith he may die and he die he is a murderer the murderer shall surely be put to death the revenger of blood himself shall slay the murderer when he meeteth him he shall slay him but if he thrust him of hatred or hurl at him by laying of weight that he die or in enmity smite him with his hand that he die he that smote him shall surely be put to death for he is a murderer and the revenger of blood shall slay the murderer when he meeteth him but if he thrust him suddenly without enmity or have cast upon him anything without laying of weight or with any stone wherewith a man may die seeing him not and cast upon him that he die and was not his enemy neither sought him harm then the congregation shall judge between the slayer and the revenger of blood according to these judgments and the congregation shall deliver the slayer out of the hand of the revenger of blood and the congregation shall restore him to the city of his refuge whither he was fled 
and he shall abide in it unto the death of the high priest, which was anointed with the holy oil. But if the slayer shall at any time come without the border of the city of his refuge, whither he was fled, and the revenger of blood find him without the borders of the city of his refuge, and the revenger of blood kill the slayer, he shall not be guilty of blood, because he should have remained in the city of his refuge until the death of the high priest. But after the death of the high priest, the slayer shall return into the land of his possession. So these things shall be for a statute of judgment unto you throughout your generations in all your dwellings. Whoso killeth any person, the murderer shall be put to death by the mouth of witnesses. But one witness shall not testify against any person to cause him to die. Moreover, ye shall take no satisfaction for the life of a murderer which is guilty of death, but he shall surely be put to death. And ye shall take no satisfaction for him that is fled to the city of his refuge that he should come again to dwell in the land until the death of the priest. So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are, for blood it defileth the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. Defile not therefore the land which ye inhabit, wherein I dwell, for I, the Lord, dwell among the children of Israel. Chapter 36 Marriage of Female Errors And the chief fathers of the families of the children of Gilead, the son of Machir, the son of Manasseh, of the families of the sons of Joseph, came nearer and spake before Moses, and before the princes, the chief fathers of the children of Israel. And they said, The Lord commanded my Lord to give the land for an inheritance by lot to the children of Israel. And my Lord was commanded by the Lord to give the inheritance of Zelophehad, our brother, unto his daughters. And if they be married to any of the sons of the other tribes of the children of Israel, then shall their inheritance be taken from the inheritance of our fathers, and shall be put to the inheritance of the tribe whereunto they are received. So shall it be taken from the lot of our inheritance. And when the jubilee of the children of Israel shall be, then shall their inheritance be put unto the inheritance of the tribe whereunto they are received. So shall their inheritance be taken away from the inheritance of the tribe of our fathers. And Moses commanded the children of Israel, according to the word of the Lord, saying, the tribe of the sons of Joseph hath said well. This is the thing which the Lord doth command concerning the daughters of Zelophehad, saying, Let them marry to whom they think best. Only to the family of the tribe of their father shall they marry. So shall not the inheritance of the children of Israel remove from tribe to tribe. For every one of the children of Israel shall keep himself to the inheritance of the tribe of his fathers. And every daughter that possesseth an inheritance in any tribe of the children of Israel shall be wife unto one of the family of the tribe of her father, 
that the children of Israel may enjoy every man the inheritance of his fathers. Neither shall the inheritance remove from one tribe to another tribe, but every one of the tribes of the children of Israel shall keep himself to his own inheritance. Even as the Lord commanded Moses, so did the daughters of Zelophehad. For Mala, Tirzah, and Hogla, and Milcah, and Noah, the daughters of Zelophehad, were married unto their father's brother's sons. And they were married into the families of the sons of Manasseh, the son of Joseph and their inheritance remained in the tribe of the family of their father. These are the commandments and the judgments which the Lord commanded by the hand of Moses unto the children of Israel in the plains of Moab by Jordan near Jericho. The End